Hi everyone! I am chilling with my ultra huge hot water bottle. That is my favorite item of all time <laughs> to help with my health. And it has been a lot of times in the last 10 days that I have tried to do this video that um, I fail to be clear. So this is my last attempt and if I am not able to do it, I will stop the project. So um, I would like to do this video in the idea of why I prefer practicing yoga following videos on internet than practicing yoga with a in real life teacher. I have tried the two experiences um, recently. It has been two years that I practice yoga first from little of videos, little of magazines, books, um, you know, that describe the basic poses. And I have worked on some videos with yoga by Kandas. Kandas? Kandas? I cannot honestly <laughs> pronounce it pronounce it clearly. Um, I will put all the channels, uh, yoga channels that I love into the description box. So yeah, I have begun with her and I really love how Candace is um, creating her videos for beginners because it's really clear it's not too fast. She really stays into the basics of the poses, what you should do, what you should not do in order not to enjoy yourself and posing also how to breathe each time, inhaling, exhaling at which time. And yeah, I really loved the videos. I still love them. Uh, but at the beginning of April, at the end of March, in fact, of this year, I discovered um, another yoga teacher that I really love. It is Cassandra um, from Yoga with Cassandra <laughs> channel on YouTube. And I tried a video for Ostara um, about raising energy for spring you know she had created this flow of vinyasa yoga of 45 minutes i think um and it was crazy for me to do this it was like um, i had never done something complex and so long and it was really difficult but at the end i felt so good really um so awakened and so energetic but relaxed really i felt how she uh, told that she created this video for and so i decided um, a few days ago she said oh i have created for april a yoga challenge of one month that is very balanced it is spring into yoga and you can enter uh, yoga challenges whenever you want you know once they, do, they are done they are open to everyone anytime and what i really liked with the challenge this challenge is that it was really balanced you, on 10 days you had um diff different uh, teams um like the core like the upper body like the balance um like one day of resting poses of yin yoga what i really love with cassandra is that i discovered with her yin yoga that is also called gravity yoga and she in one week you had like four young tonic videos and like three more yin relaxing resting uh, videos so it was really good for my general uh, ears you know and aptitudes to follow her and even if some videos were quite difficult she always gave you options to 
to do the poses that were for beginners for and for more and more um, uh, oh, <laughs> high level students of yoga and it was fun to also try the dif difficult um, variations of poses and finding my way into that and I realized I'm not a beginner anymore and really it was fun to follow that and she's really open to let you discover what you can do and what I love on yoga and internet in general is that they are really open to everyone that comes of course because it is internet but they let you in your mind and in your practice find yourself and find find what is good for you they are encouraging you to do efforts and do also the poses that you don't like that are difficult and to challenge yourself but they also let you uh, being the boss you know the the being in charge of your practice and really i love that and yeah after this practice during this practice the thoughts um really i would like to have a uh, in real life teacher to help me to to know if i really i'm aligned as i should and um yeah if i do things right because i have no mirrors at all you know the beginning of so i don't know what i am doing i feel uh, the things and i think that i I feel that I progress and I feel the the work inside that should happen happening af after months and months and years but I am not s watching myself and I like that but I wanted a teacher so I took a one-on-one -on -one, um, appointment with a teacher that came home and <laughs> she was great really as a person as a teacher she was just so great and what she um taught me during one hour and a half was really valuable but there was it was so not strict but i had no opportunity to listen to my body like you know stopping at some point uh, even at one time I crashed down nearly at the end because my body wanted my feet to go at the end of the poses and she blocked me at just just before the end because my my back was bending and it was not the point but you know and except for letting me doing it and at the end saying oh we will we retry and we will try not to she really stopped me into movement into the movement she stopped me into everything and then my body crashed down you know like i don't like her <laughs> it was like the revolt the revolution inside me and so we finished with the listen listen with some um relaxing breathing things like that but like two hours after she has gone i was into pain into my whole body so it was like a total feeling of rejection of what we have done and it has been like it has been a week away and even now i'm thinking about what you have done thinking about it i feel sick in my stomach i want to puke and i have this bar into my head and my ears that are ringing you know it's like my body has completely blocked and i cannot choose anything that she has told me because if it, each time i think about it i am feeling bad and she really difficulties was this she really saw that yoga on the internet had no value at all that even if i have practiced for two years i was still a beginner that know nothing about it and after a few times she has 
at another impression and she said it's fun because I don't know a lot of things that they teach at for the beginners into her tradition in the tradition she has um, learned and in other ways I know a lot of things that even advanced um, um, advanced students n don't know or not are not practicing especially into energetic and breathing because I am working on that things like 12 13 years now and even more for some things so yeah it has been like a nightmare for my body because what I like with these videos is that I can stop them whenever I want you know if I need it if I need to drink like at some point I was cold I said to her oh I have to turn on the, the heater because I am cold she said don't move and she didn't put the heater how I would have put it to be enough warm and I I was like oh I cannot stop her into a thing to say okay stop I have to put some some new clothes and really put the warmer near me and I yeah she was really into her thing at her rhythm in her way and never asking me if it felt good if I needed anything even if I had explained to her in all the ways possible um, what I was suffering about and what I needed and yeah really quite catastrophic thing and honestly after in the day it was in the morning at the end of the day I tried to do my own yoga to reboot you know because my body was like I hate yoga you will never do yoga anymore and I did my yoga like another hour and a half and it was like a nightmare my whole body was so painful but it has like stopped you know the next day this wall and balance um, had come down and I am, and have been able to do my version of yoga afterward but her version of yoga really just thinking about it I feel so bad and so I have also this I had discovered another teacher of yoga that is named Adrian from the yoga with Adrian channel YouTube channel and in a way she's like Cassandra and in another way she's really totally different she has more insight and humor and she she likes to play with words and at some point I discovered a, a, um, a few months sorry before but it was difficult to practice and to listen to her and to focus on what she said why I was just um, struggling to do my poses you know it was difficult but I really found her really lovely you know I wanted to do something with her so after this disastrous moment with the in real life teacher I decided she had already done like a 30 days of yoga so I have, inter I have entered into this ch yoga challenge of 30 days and at to day it's day 8 8 not 8 sorry and I really love her style too it's different she really really encourages you to play with the poses to move into them and to feel things and it's really more into the feeling of yoga really inside you and I love that I love Cassandra I love Condice I love <laughs> sorry I am eaten her name uh, yoga with oh, the last one I spoke about sorry for that fibre fog and yeah I really love practicing with her it's, it's so fun eh? and she encourages you for some difficult videos to stop it you know 
when you need and to breathe and to come back and what I prefer then she says often okay you have done the the most difficult thing it's to be on your mat and uh, I've, I've chosen a video you know and being there for practicing the most difficult thing was to decide yourself to do it and now you are in good hands and you will enjoy yourself and each time of course I do <laughs> so yeah and my body has really I transform into this one month and a half I have done yoga so I do the videos of the challenges I choose and after I do my own yoga or I add another video for doing one hour, one hour and a half of 